What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Am Toys video. Today we have another WWE action figure set up for you guys and it is WWE versus AEW edition. So in today's video, guys, we do have a brand new WWE action figure set up. Everybody knows by now, guys, Double or Nothing is tonight AEW's first show as a promotion, and I'm super excited for it, and I figured why not celebrate? You know, we did my AEW figure collection yesterday, but I figured spice things up. Let's do a WWE action figure set up today, and why not have WWE going one-on-one -on -one with AEW? I know for a fact AEW is not going to compete with WWE right off the bat as far as the numbers and the growth and all that stuff, but... But it is fun to fantasy book and talk about, you know, them going head to head, a Survivor Series style matchup. And why not have it take place here in the backstage area of MDT, guys? You know, MDT Live and Vindication is sort of like, you know, AEW and WWE coming together, anyways, right? So let's just go ahead and hit it, guys. I'm going to start off in the corner like we always do, and we'll go through the entire setup until we are finished. So let's go ahead and get started. So starting off in the corner, guys, we have Cody Rhodes jumping off of this stretcher. Him and his brother Dustin are doing battle with the Usos. You know, he can't be one-sided, so one Uso, I think it's Jimmy. Jimmy is awaiting Cody Rhodes jumping off of that stretcher, and Jay is beating down on the older, you know, um, the veteran in gold dust. Cody and Dustin are going one-on-one -on -one tonight, but the Usos are trying to fight them off, you know, brothers versus the Usos here. And I think this matchup probably happened in WWE. I'm pretty sure it did, so there's a little callback to that. If we go forward a little bit, guys, you will see Triple H and the WWE Champion Kofi Kingston running right here. And they're running because Ty Dillinger, Dean Ambrose slash John Moxley, and Neville are beating the hell out of Vince McMahon. You know, this is sort of some symbolism, like you, you mistreated us, we didn't get our fair share. You know, not everybody can be pushed, I know. But this is them being like, you know, you could have done something better, and they have some ill will towards Vince McMahon. So they're sort of assaulting him here. And Triple H and the WWE Champion Kofi Kingston running after I'm trying to give them, get them to stop, but I thought it was cool to have Neville, you know, on top beating the hell out of Vince. I know that, you know, there's some controversy surrounding Neville right now. Pac, if you will, and, you know, the, he supposedly quit. He's not going to be at Double or Nothing. He's not going to be a part of AEW, and I don't know if I completely believe that. I know that there are stuff that came out. I know he refused to lose to Adam Hangman Page for good reason and, and all this stuff, but I still think we're going to see Pac, guys. I think this is a huge opportunity missed if he doesn't go with AEW, and I don't think he completely quit. We're just going to have to watch Double or Nothing tonight and find out what happened with him and the whole situation. But there they are assaulting Vince McMahon nonetheless. Even if Pac isn't a, a part of AEW, he still wants to get, to get his hands on Vince McMahon. Coming back here, guys, we have Marty Skrull, and I think he will be a surprise entrant in that Casino Battle Royale tonight. I just see it happening. You know, he, uh, he has not been signed. He has not been announced for Double or Nothing. He's not a part of AEW officially just yet. But his best friends, the Bucks, Cody, Kenny, all of them, Adam, all, all of involved in this. Marty Skrull is probably one of the biggest members of, you know, the group, and, and I think he's one of the most influential in the group. He's very underrated talent here, and so I included him here because I think he could be the Joker wild card in that Battle Royal, that Casino Battle Royal. He could be a part of Double or Nothing show if he gets interfered, or, or you know, he announces him signing, or maybe he comes on the Jumbotron. Something will happen with Marty Skrull at this show, and I have him invading with his brothers here, attacking Xavier Woods with an umbrella, you know, his signature umbrella. He's got to get it in. So he's invading here with his boys, and yeah, Marty Skrull has to show up. In the middle, guys, we have Seth freaking Rollins and Kenny Omega. A very big dream match right here. I would give anything to see this matchup. Maybe we'll see this in MDT Live, taking on Vindication one day or something. Who knows what will go down. Maybe maybe both brands can cross here. I've had so many comments down in the comment section telling me that MDT Live should do a you know Survivor Series pay-per-view and take on Vindication, and so maybe one day that can happen. But Kenny Omega, you know, the biggest star in AEW, taking on Seth Rollins, the biggest star in WWE. What a match this would be. So they're just sort of staring down here. I guess the calm before the storm before both of them just break the hell loose and go off on each other. So that is sort of some symbolism here. This is the ultimate WWE versus AEW right here. Even though Seth Rollins was an indie guy, I think Roman Reigns would probably be the bigger, you know, WWE representative as far as, you know, a homegrown talent from WWE and not an indie guy. But it's still cool nonetheless to see these two face off. If you guys want to see these two face off, go watch BEW Animation's Kenny Omega versus Seth Seth Rollins stop, fi stop motion figure match. Absolutely amazing stuff. Right here, guys, we have Tama Tonga going one-on-one -on -one with Roman Reigns. I know Tama Tonga throws
throw shade at Roman Reigns all the time. They go back and forth on Twitter. They talk crap to each other. So I know that this this is a dream match for me. I would love to see this matchup take place. Tama Tonga is uh, the the way that Roman Reigns should be booked is the way that Tama Tonga is. I think Tama Tonga is more athletic, actually. I think he's actually better on the mic. He, he is very, very good talent. He's a bit edgy. You know, I think he fits great. He would have fit perfectly in the Attitude and Ruthless Aggression era. But both of these men are super athletic freaks, and I think it would be beautiful to see them in the ring together. So they're going one-on-one. -on -one. If, if AEW invaded WWE, this is exactly what would take place. Both of these guys would get in each other's faces as soon as possible. So Roman Reigns and Tama Tonga had to go face to face. Back here guys, we have Matt Jackson super kicking Jeff Hardy. We have actually seen the Young Bucks and the Hardy Boys. They have actually wrestled each other before and so I had to have, you know, one team member getting on the other, sort of like the, uh, the, the Rhodes brothers and the Usos here. So I have Matt Jackson super kicking Jeff Hardy and over here I have Matt Hardy doing a leg drop to Nick Jackson through the table. So he jumped off of these little storage boxes and he put Nick Jackson through the table back here with the leg drop. So both Hardy Boys and the Bucks are going straight at each other. I think they're the, probably the two greatest tag teams in the world, so them going head-to-head -head here is just beautiful stuff. And so there we have the Bucks taking on the Hardys. I thought that, you know, why not have the biggest, the best tag teams in the world going head-to-head. -head. And to finish off our setup, guys, we have a rivalry renewed back here. We have the phenomenal AJ Styles loading Chris Jericho up, guys. He's got him up in the Styles Clash on this stretcher, and he has a, like, bridge of chairs right here, and he is going to hit, hit Chris Jericho with that Styles Clash off of the stretcher looking fantastic i think this is a brutal spot this would absolutely mess somebody up and i think i'm gonna finish the video with styles you know uh, launching him into those chairs i think it'll be a cool way to end the video so styles loading chris jerko up you know they had their match at wrestlemania 32 really solid matchup they had sort of a, an early rivalry when aj got to wwe and so i think that you know it'd be cool to have them go one-on-one -on -one here aj styles loads chris jerko up for the styles clash Oh my god, I actually missed the other two chairs. And AJ Styles loading Chris Jericho up for the Styles Clash. He's coming up the stretcher onto the chairs. My god, Chris Jericho's dead. But that pretty much does it for today's WWE action figure setup. Guys, I guess you can call it a WWE and AEW action figure setup because we have both styles represented, right? I want to know down in the comment section below, will you be ordering Double or Nothing? Are you hyped for the show? You know, what, do you, what are your thoughts on it? I actually found out that a lot of people actually are going to watch this thing, and I'm actually very happy about that. I think it's good. You know, I don't, again, I'm rooting for both companies. I love WWE, always been a WWE fan, but I am super excited. It is an understanding statement to say that I am excited for AEW, guys. I want them to succeed to the fullest extent, and I want both promotions to, to make hella strides, and I want them to be very successful. That way, both companies can feed off each other, compete with each other, create better wrestling, create better storylines, and just make professional wrestling overall more successful, more entertaining, and just overall greater. So, I think that is the goal for everyone involved. I don't think anybody should root for either to fail. I think that we should root for all of them to succeed so that we, the fans, can benefit the most off of of, you know them creating great professional wrestling for us to enjoy but that pretty much does it for today's video guys i hope you guys did enjoy the setup i would love to know your thoughts down below if you guys are watching double or nothing or going to the show or you know tuning in on pay-per-view or live stream or whatever i would love to know your thoughts please let me know down in the comment section below but that is going to do it for this setup guys i hope you guys did enjoy subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe and wwe action figure videos Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.